Hey everyone, welcome back to part four of the Create Mod series. Once again, thank you guys so much for the support on this series. We already passed 100 views on the first video, and that's insane. Uh, quick little self promotion, I'll be quick. Uh, please check out my Discord, if, especially if you're using this Create Mod. There's a bunch of us that are using the Create Mod inside there, and we're all sharing our designs and ideas and stuff like that. Also, you get a nice little sneak peek at the videos that I'm working on in the future. And it's also a great resource if you need some help and I'm not able to respond to your comment right away. You can use the Discord as a nice little, like, helping stepping stone, I guess you can call it. Uh, other than that, if you join before I get 1,000 subscribers, you get a special little rank. So definitely uh, just go ahead and check it out. Anyways, though, let's go ahead and jump into this system. So we're going to make an ore processing system inside of this video. Now, this is not the automated one. That should be the next video that releases. But this system is going to kind of be the stepping stone to that. So this is going to allow us to have the chance to double our ores during our uh, processing of them. So keep that in mind. But you are going to need to kind of accomplish this before you can get into the automated version. So if you are watching this and the automated version is already out, don't skip this video. Watch this one and then watch the automated one. Now, uh, let's jump right into it. So in this chest is everything you are going to need for this episode. Uh, one thing you should already have is the wrench. We built that in the last episode, so you can just go ahead and grab that out of your chest. Uh, these four blocks of cobblestone, as well as this slab... They can be anything, um, any type of block and any type of slab. They're just going to be used for the building purposes that we're going to need to make. Um, other than that, we're going to really quick do some crafting. So if we take one andesite alloy and one andesite casing and we place it like so, we can make a depot. Now, real quick, a depot allows you to place items on top of it and kind of just like a holding place. It's great for automation and it's great for stepping stones into the next couple episodes. Uh, it's also very cheap to make. What we're going to use in this episode is, you might have seen there's a little bit of a change. We have a mechanical press connected to a basin, and this is simply going to smash items when the items are placed inside a basin. The only problem is, is the items don't ever leave the basin. They'll keep getting smashed and keep changing into different items depending on how many items are placed in. So a quick little fix to that is to simply place a basin diagonal underneath it. And then as soon as an item is smashed, it will go through the basin and go onto the depot and sit here and you can simply right click to take it out of the depot. So a quick little solution right there, um, nice and easy. Uh, next things we're gonna have to craft is going to be our mechanical crafters, which you can see are our electron tubes, cogwheels, brass casings, and crafting tables. Now, that being said, we actually need 12 of them. Now, this is on top of all of the mechanical crafters that we used in the last video. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, Please go ahead and check out the episode before this because you are going to need to have already made like a speed controller. You are going to have already made these mechanical crafters and mixers and anything along those lines. So definitely go ahead and check out episode three. Now, if you have watched episode three, let's go ahead and make our uh, 12 mechanical crafters really quick. So uh, we're just going to grab all of our resources because we are going to have to craft some, ex uh, some other items as well. So mechanical crafters will go in here. 3, 6, 9, 12. Now we have 12 of those. Our next crafting is going to be encased fans, and we actually need four of these. Now, excuse me, I've already had you make some cogwheels, some shafts, and andesite casings. So these are already things that you have done before. The only thing that's new is these propellers, which are just iron sheets and andesite alloy. And we're going to need four of those. So we'll make literally all four, just like so. And then we can make our encased fans. And we'll make all four of those. So there we go. Now we've made all of those items. The rest of these are going to be used for building as well as crafting. Now, a quick little note. This magma block is going to be a kind of like a generator with these encased fans. So if you know what I'm talking about, you can do this with lava and you can do this with fire and campfires, I believe. The only difference is that will spread fire. And if you have a wood house and you're doing this inside of your wood house, there's a chance you'll burn your whole house down. So I'm using magma blocks because they don't spread fire uh, and they create about 16 RPMs and that's good enough for what we need to do. So keep that in mind. I'm going to do a video in probably the next couple days that's gonna be all about power sources and different ways to generate power. And right then and there, you can go ahead and kind of make your decision on how you wanna power those things. But for now, this is a nice cheap little generator. You can just grab these from the nether and it's pretty nice and easy. So next step, let's go ahead and head outside. Now, I've done some reconstruction here. This looks like trash, I'll be honest, but I've done this so you can see on how I've done the gears that I wanted to do. So all this is doing 
is pulling from my water wheels outside. It goes just underground literally to here. I'm not changing anything. Um, shaft to a vertical gearbox. And then I've done my little gear trick from episode two uh, where I'm able to speed the gears up to go really fast. And then they go right inside of this rotation speed controller, whoops, which I have changed to four RPMs. And then it gets sent all the way over to here. So it's slowly turning, but eventually once we build these mechanical crafters, it's going to be able to uh, power it. Now, how do we build these mechanical crafters? Because the next thing we need to make is the crushing wheel. So if we click on this, you can see the design that we need of 21 mechanical crafters. So let's go ahead and start building those. We'll just use one block really quick to get on up. So if we do one, two, one, two, just like so. There we go. This is how it needs to be built. Corrected. This is how it needs to be built. Apparently, as I placed them, it changed direction. So speaking of which, I just realized I just replaced them all with a pickaxe, but you can also use your wrench to change directions, which I completely forgot about. But real quick, before we forget, uh, our next thing is what we did in episode two. So you see how all these arrows are kind of screwed up at the moment. We need them to all output right here. So real quick, it doesn't matter the entire situation to do these, as long as they all connect and then they'll output right here, it will create our crushing wheels. So. What we need to do next is you can see it's pushing there and there and then down. It looks like these are all going left. So what we'll do is we can connect these guys like so. We'll try to make this a little bit easier. So this item goes here and up. This one goes here. This one goes down and then they all go here. We can kind of do the same over here. So we'll connect and connect and then they all go here and connect down. These are all connecting together and coming down and then they go through here. We'll change that so it connects there and then that should be fine yeah i think that's fine so next step is to see how these crushing wheels work so let's start with the four planks um, and then the piece of stone now the piece of stone can technically be andesite granite um, or a couple other different things but stone's probably the easiest thing to get um, so let's go ahead and place our stone right into the center we'll take our planks place our planks just like so and then I believe let me just make sure the rest is andesite so basically we place 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 keep going and bam now this is going to take a second because of course our wheels are spinning a little bit slow um, but basically they're going to all come together and then they're going to turn into crushing wheels so we'll give that a second all right there we go hopefully I've edited this so I, I sped it up for you guys but um, all it's done is just gone together, um, and we've just waited. Of course, this can be speeded or sped up with our RPMs turned up, um, but we don't have enough power at the moment. And honestly, once we craft these things, I'm going to remove this entire mechanical crafter for the next video and make it a better situation with more power, essentially. Uh, but this is getting the job done so we can start processing our ores. So there we go. We got our crushing wheel, and it's going to actually make two of them as soon as it pops on out. Man, it is taking a minute. But anyways, the next step is going to be building the crushing wheels. We're going to build a, um, a place that turns the crushed ores into ink, or crushed ores into nuggets, and then we'll turn them into ingots. But here we go. We got our crushing wheels. So part one is done. So our next step is we're going to place a magma block and a magma block. We're going to take some encased fans. So we're going to place one and one just like so. Uh, we're going to then place, let's see, uh, we're going to take our wrench, we're going to turn it so that the fans are facing down. We're going to take our cobblestone now, place one here, and then place a lever and turn that on. That will turn our fans on. Next, we'll just pop on up here really quick. We're going to take a vertical gearbox and place it like so. We'll take a second vertical gearbox, place it like so, and then real quick we're going to need a regular gearbox on one side and we're going to need a shaft on the other now the reason i'm doing this is because if i go to the front you can see this one is spinning clockwise and this one is spinning counterclockwise and the one thing that we need is actually so i actually did this wrong so one sec we're actually going to fix this really quick so <laughs> this is the easy fix so basically, if I do, let me show you how this works. 
So if I place a gearbox here, we can see it's spinning counter or spinning clockwise at the moment. So if I take my crushing wheel and place it, my crushing wheel is spinning uh, clockwise. Now the issue is here is if I put a gearbox down and then turned it, they'd both be spinning clockwise. So that's not actually going to crush. We need them to spin opposite. So if you take a shaft, you place a crushing wheel, they're now spinning opposite and now we're all good to go. So one other thing I just quickly forgot about doing is we need to take our hopper and we need to place our hopper right into the middle, just like so. And then there we go. We've got the crushing wheel down. Now the crushing wheel is going to crush ores into um, basically crushed material. And then we need to take the crushed material and wash it before we can turn it into ingots. So one second. So real quick, I went ahead and got some iron ore. Um, didn't actually have any in the chest, so I had to quickly go find some. But basically, if you throw your iron ore inside of a hopper, it will get crushed. You can see it's crushing currently. And so we had four iron ore has turned into six crushed iron ore. Um, there is a chance that it will turn into some pieces of cobblestone as well. Um, so that's something to keep in mind when we start automating these things. Um, but it currently turned into crushed iron ore. So next thing we're going to do is I've built this little hole in the ground. And we're going to take a magma block. We're basically doing the same system of an encased fan on top. Um, then we're just going to need some kind of lever to turn it. So now it's spinning. We're going to take a vertical gearbox like so. Take our encased fan. Whoops. Uh, and we're going to take a piece of cobble. Piece of cobble. Uh, we'll even place that one really quickly. And place a slab just like so place the water bucket right in front of that and we'll turn this fan and you can now see that it's blowing out basically like a mist now if you had lava here it actually smelt your ores but that doesn't give you the chance of basically duplicating your ores now since we have crushed iron ore and we place a piece of cobblestone right here and we throw our crushed iron ore right into it i think i just missed hold up we throw our crushed iron ore right into it. You can see it's currently being washed. So this will eventually turn into, wait for it, a bunch of iron nuggets. So iron nuggets now can technically be crafted. You could craft these all into iron ingots. Now remember we started with, I believe four iron ore. Um, so basically if you take this, we could either craft it and turn them into ingots or if you want to process them. So we're already starting to. You can throw your iron nuggets right into this basin and it will actually get smashed out and turn right into ingots for us. So we're just gonna let this process. We'll see if we get any extras. It's gonna keep going. So we already got three. And you might be already seeing on how we can start auto processing these materials, which is pretty dang nice, honestly. It's gonna keep going. So we already got five. You can see there's still a couple left, so we'll see in how many more it's going to smash out for us. We got six. Might even go again. So you can see in how we've already kind of duplicated some of these ores by just simply washing a couple of them. It might come down and smash the rest of our... Oh, there you go. We even got one more. I think that might be it. Yep, that's it. So we have a couple iron nuggets still in there, so we can just break it. But you can see, I believe we started with four and it turned into eight iron ingots and four iron nuggets. So you can see we've already duplicated some of our ores. But anyways, that is how we build the ore processing system in a non-automated way. Um, you can see it didn't take too many materials, but we can move forward with this process and actually start automating it now. So I'm going to leave this video right here. The next video that should go up is going to be a way to automate this process and definitely make this look a lot better so it's not a bunch of machines in my backyard. Uh, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and like it. Other than that, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.